Hey all, it's me, Miss P. I'm going to tell you right now that this project is mostly an experiment, but um, it's my second attempt at it, and I think it came out a little bit better than my first attempt. So you'll see here I have two pieces of computer paper. I'm drawing, I set aside a square on one, one of the pieces of computer paper, and I'm just kind of squaring off an area on my paper that I'm going to fill with color. So you see I've got my crayons here, and I'm just coloring a bunch of squares. Now, these squares are going to end up being the lines, or the color for what we're going to make today. So I'm pressing pretty hard with my crayon. You can even see here where I'm coloring that brown. I got the indent of like a dent in my desk. So there's a nick in the wood, and you can even see that in my indent, because I'm coloring pretty hard. Now. I used a lot of light colors when I was doing this, and I would recommend against that. I would use mostly dark colors, or even that like uh, that scarlet color I'm using right now. It's a very bright, deep color, whereas, for example, some of the lighter pinks and like skin tones that I have, lighter skin tones, those those won't show up as well. So. I'm just making those squares and I'm really filling them up with color. I'm pushing hard on my crayon and uh, filling up that space. So I'm going to keep doing that. All right, here we go. I am just about done with coloring in all of those squares, and I'm gonna put my other piece of computer paper over top of my first piece of computer paper. I'm folding down the corners here so that I can easily remove the piece of paper if I want to, but um, it's sort of held secure with the other paper. And then I'm squaring off that same space that I covered with crayon. And now I'm gonna start drawing. And I thought I'd do another winter pattern so I'm drawing really, really hard here, as you can tell, and I am drawing a snowflake. The point here is to create a lot of spaces that are dark and colored, because those spaces my crayon is going to transfer to the back of my paper and create that pattern. So I'm drawing really dark here and um, creating some uh, snowflakes out of hexagons, mostly and other symmetrical shapes that are the same on both sides. And don't be afraid to go outside of that square. It'll actually make the thing look more realistic, I think, if you go outside of the square and that part isn't done in crayon. But you can see I'm covering that whole part of my hat with, um, with color, so I can just get it nice and I can see all the colors that I spent so long putting in there, doing the same with my mouth. So yeah, I'm drawing a little person just because I thought that would be cute. Filling in the eyes nice and dark just so I have another place that the color is going to show through. And I'm going to do a couple more snowflakes in there um, before I finish up my drawing. Coloring in my shirt. I'm hoping that will show up nicely. Yeah, with these hexagons, usually I start by drawing six or eight lines. And then I'll connect them with lines in between those those lines or uh, shapes made out of those lines, things like that. So this one I'm doing with four, but then you can add more corners and make it eight stars. You always want to go with even numbers for these um, for these snowflakes. But I'm getting to be just about done with my snowflakes. I've pressed really hard on my paper. Um, looks like I'm creating some wind swirls now. And those wind squirrels can be drawn, drawn really dark, and they look nice. So let's see. I'm trying to press down and... Okay. Yeah, this came out all right. It's not the best, but it's, it's pretty cool. And this is what I meant about uh, the darker colors. Because where I'm coloring in that eye, it was like a very light peach color. 
and that's why it's not showing up as well. This will work way better with oil pastel, but I wanted to show you this experiment that you can do in crayon. All right, that's all. Bye-bye.